The agricultural authorities are capturing the database of farmers in the country. This is to ensure that inputs get to targeted beneficiaries. The idea is to get the bio data of the farmers linked with the geographical information of their farm plots, crops and volume of production. Agricultural Minister Mr. Sambo Nanono made this known at the 44th Council meeting of the National Council on Agriculture and Rural Development in Abuja. Lara Folayon is there. The 44th Council meeting of the National Council on Agriculture and Rural Development. The talks here are on finding new ways of improving agricultural okay. outputs in the country amidst the pandemic, floods and insecurity. The agriculture authorities, speaking on several interventions to change the narrative, acknowledge situations that malign the process, including ghost schemes and other unwholesome practices in the agricultural industry. They revealed that actions have been taken on capturing the country's farmers' data for better transparency. Though the initial plan was to capture 2.4 million farmers, but that has now been expanded to 10 million. This database is going to be the platform for government intervention going forward, footing an end to ghost schemes and other unscrupulous practices in the agricultural industry. The Nigerian economy returned to positive territory in the fourth quarter of 2020, owing to contributions mainly from agriculture breaking new grounds in the sector for even greater results through more inclusiveness now forms the trust of discussions at the meeting. While it is true that the attention of government is focused on ensuring the public health safety of the citizenry through the enforcement of various COVID-19 protocols and the eventual rollout of vaccines, it is equally imperative to ensure that the food production and distribution value chains, which are essential to human survival, are not affected. Not ignoring the gross implications farmer header clashes have had on agriculture, the authorities hope that the National Livestock Transformation Program will put an end to the crisis through modern ways of livestock farming. Apart from combating the bandit and criminality in this country, will ensure that we support the Federal Minister of Agriculture in this coming budget to ensure that we voted more fund to ensure we settle down the real hiders that are moving from one part of the country to another. The agriculture authorities say the country's inability to import food during the lockdown is an evidence that it can produce what it eats and pledge to ensure that this indeed becomes a reality. Lara Folayo, TBC News, Abuja.